Hi Speechies, it's Lisa and welcome back to Speech Fairies. I wanted to show you the latest collection that we're trying to put together. These are the current McDonald toys. They are the National Geographic Weird and True Animals. So it's like a little stuffed animal with a little information card. So there's lots of different ones to collect. I think we've got about half of them, but we have been buying two of each. Um, when we, when I drive through in the morning to get my coffee, we've been picking them up. They're just really cute. They're like the old teeny beanies that they used to have at McDonald's. Um, but these are the most current, I think they could be maybe endangered species. I haven't really opened them up yet to, to read the cards. We're just right in collector mode right now. But we thought to share those with you so that you can start collecting them as well because they make great props. So if we're ever reading a book and I want to find the animals that go with it, it's nice to have a stash of different kinds of animals. So I also get two in case I can do some matching, some same and different. And they're just so cute. These animals would be great also for working on describing. So there's lots of animal attributes you can talk about. So stripes and has sharp teeth and says rawr. This one is lives in the ocean. So you can talk about categories where the animal lives. And just that find out more factor, right? So if you want to find out more about this animal, each card has a little bit of detail on it. So it's a mammal, where it lives, forests of India, Sri Lanka, Bangladesh, Nepal, and Bhutan, favorite foods. So you get to learn a little bit more about each animal as well. So that's the sloth there. So many of these I haven't even heard of. It helps plant that seed for inquiry. We want to find out more. So we can go online, we can go on our smart boards and find out more about that animal. Very excited to use these for describing. This cute little froggy with his big beady eyes. And again, the cards are great because you can really describe the animal and learn some new vocabulary at the same time. So that's our collection so far. We are missing a few. We're missing the white fox, the otter, and the red panda. So I'm still on the hunt for those. It's kind of getting near the end, I think. So if I can't find them at McDonald's itself, I'm going to be looking in our local value village, which is conveniently right beside McDonald's and see if I can find them there. Uh, often you can find them new in package. So the last, I guess, two Happy Meals ago, they were Pokemon, I think, and I was able to find a lot of the Pokemon at the thrift store, just in those little bags hanging on the walls. So any of the ones I was missing, I just picked them up right after the promotion was finished. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. We're trying to put content up every day. We've got lots of toys and resources to share with parents, speech language pathologists, speech language therapy assistants, SLPAs, I myself am a speech language therapy assistant and I get to do all the fun therapy activities so I like to be creative and come up with different things. I always try to shop the thrifty way so that I can collect materials to use with clients and families. One of the things I've done with the teeny beanies when I did find them, and I don't think I'll do this with these animals, but I can show you what I've done with some of the other ones is I've made finger puppets out of them. So I'm going to grab some of those so we can see what that looks like. So I just brought out a few of my teeny beanies, which I've made into puppets. So I just have all my ocean creatures in this bag. I haven't yet done it to this pretty fellow yet. I wasn't sure how I could get it to work because he's just so big. Um, and I also haven't done it to this little green fish yet. Collectors of these teeny beanies would probably have my head. 
So what I've done is I've taken the beanie and I've taken the beans out and I've just cut a hole in the bottom and so I can use them for finger puppets. So there's a fishy and I did the same with this cute little crab. I just didn't have the, the animal vocabulary I wanted for the finger puppets so I just made them. So there's a crab. So this is the manta ray or the stingray that we got from that was a Thai beanie, teeny beanie at McDonald's and I've just cut a hole again. Just, you can see how I cut the hole like kind of like a, a like a V shape and then you can put your finger in and you can control the puppet. So that's another nice thing with these tiny beanie babies is they make great finger puppets. Please be sure to like this video, push the thumbs up button Make a comment below if you want to add to the information that I've provided and share it with other people. Please share with your friends. And we'll see you very soon. Bye for now.